that that temperature profile through the atmosphere drops and we can support snow through the entire column, we'll see it. It's 28 degrees right now in St. Louis under a winter storm warning and the airport's reporting light freezing rain, light snow and a mist. So with a temperature of 28 degrees, you know that while it's below freezing at the surface, it's all about what's going on a little higher up in the atmosphere. What are we waking up to that's a little different this morning? Well, ice storm warnings from Louisville down to Paducah and Memphis. Memphis waking up to an ice storm warning this morning, and you're seeing where that is. This goes until Friday. For a good chunk of Louisiana, that includes a few cities in western Louisiana, uh, excuse me, Kentucky, and then into western Tennessee, down through Memphis. And so this zone is going to have the highest threat and probably feeling the greatest effects of this storm. Of course, we are expecting significant snow still to fall in the cold sector, but it's where that cold air at the surface runs in to some of that warmer air, which will lift, and that's why we're seeing that rain. Here's future track. So we have that moisture from the Gulf of Mexico that's moving up through Nashville and into Memphis. This is all rain. Future track always, it has a hard time identifying the difference between freezing rain and sleet, but that's what we're seeing this morning along that I-44 corridor in Missouri up into St. Louis, and then watches that colder air punches a little farther to the south. Paducah up to Louisville will still see rain, but as soon as those temperatures at the surface drop below freezing, that's when we'll begin to see that freezing rain, and that's when it could be most dangerous. Keep in mind, we're going to have a bit of a lull later this afternoon into the evening, but the main push of moisture will be arriving as we head into Thursday morning. This is sort of a, a two part storm for the Midwest into the Ohio River Valley. This is when that beneficial snow will fall in Missouri and Illinois through Indiana. And this is also when we could see that ice storm really ramp up from Memphis, Paducah into Louisville, Kentucky, and we have to watch that. Of course, the threat for rain also exists. So this is a pretty powerful storm, and we might even by Thursday evening have some residual snow that pushes on through. Not going to expect much in the way of accumulation with that. By Friday, we will clear out, but it is going to be a pretty long duration event as we've been mentioning all week long. Here's that ice still to come. This is an impressive. Will all of this be freezing rain? We certainly don't hope so, but it could be significant for somebody from Memphis up to Paducah and Louisville. That's where we have to watch anywhere between a quarter to a half an inch of ice accretion possible. That's not considering sleet and snow. And here's that snow that we're expecting. Still a band, especially through central Illinois into Indiana, where we could see a total of about 8 to 12 inches. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.